Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you a new tutorial. And in this video, we'll be covering how to monitor and manage your positions with the new Rhythmic Mobile Trading app. Now this can be used in conjunction with any other platform essentially that supports and uses Rhythmic as a data feed. So this can be used whether you're on the go or away from your computer and you need to monitor positions, manage them, or just take a look at the market. This is a perfect solution to do so. Now please note that any mobile device operation is subject to the strength of your cell network, such as using this mobile app. You may be in areas where your cellular network is not operational or may not have any signals, which could cause the inability to execute orders, exit positions, or even potentially send multiple orders at once. So just keep in mind that if you use this, we, in our opinion, suggest to have a good cellular reception or even be connected to the Wi-Fi. All trades, execution, and any deficits you may incur are your responsibility. That being said, as we've done in our other video, uh, if you're looking to look at all the features at once and have one big tutorial for that, we do have a video on that. But this one, again, it's just going to be a really quick tutorial on how to focus in and manage these positions. So you first want to go, of course, to the product you're trading. If you don't see it here listed on your board, you can simply click the plus button type in your symbol. So let's say I want to add the NQ, make sure it's in all caps and then follow up by the exchange it's, uh, it's associated with. So I do NQ period. And then I just want to type in the exchange. So that falls under the CME in all caps. And then I click the plus button and then you should see it listed down at the bottom. It goes in sequential order of when you add them, or you can actually filter and sort by clicking the A to Z buttons at the bottom to put them in alphabetical order. So now that I've done that, all I simply need to do is look right in the middle of this widget right here. Now, if I'm already in positions, you will see them represented with this little shopping cart icon. Um, and then there's a bag as well. The shopping cart represents working orders. The bag represents current positions. Now, if I was already in something, you would see that working here. You would see those fields lit up and it would tell you exactly how many you have going on. You can also, by scrolling over three dots over, you can see your working orders and you can see completed orders as well. So if you need more transparency to see what's going on with your account, scroll over to the right two bubbles and uh, you'll see your working and completing orders there. Now, if you need to manage positions or, you know, even enter new ones, you can do so by clicking on the buy or sell buttons on this main widget here or scrolling over to the right to open up your dome. As you can see here, again, we see these similar icons. We see buy and sell buttons. We see our positions in our working orders monitor, and then we see our P&L. So for example, let's say I was in a trade and I wanted to get out of it. I can click the cancel all and flatten button to execute. Uh, that will get me out of all working orders, all positions at one time. If you want to establish a new position, you can simply click the buy or the sell button. As you can see, the sell is represented by this red pinkish color. Buy is represented by blue. I can change my quantity by clicking on these plus or minus buttons. Uh, the big plus and minus buttons increase by 10. And then the small ones are increments of one. And then I simply choose my order type. M stands for market. L stands for limit. SL is stop limit. And SM is stop market. So if you're using anything other than a market order, of course, you need to establish the price. So you can either click these small plus or minus buttons to increment just by ticks, or you can use these larger ones to uh, jump up and down by points. I can choose my quantity at the top here. And then once I have everything set up, I just click the button. So right now I'm going in with a short, a sell market order with a quantity of three. I press that button sell. And you can immediately see I'm now filled. As I showed you, that bag icon is now red. That represents I have a short position. And you can see it says minus three. So I know I'm currently short in the market. As you can see, the field to the left of that now shows a red number. That means I'm down minus 35. As you can see, it just fluctuated. And now I'm up $160, $205. So that's where I can monitor my PL. Again, if I swipe over to the right, I can see all my completed orders here. I can see what's going on actively. I see my sell market at, you know, with a quantity of three and I can see the fill price. Now, again, if I wanted to get out of that, I could either reverse my position, 
cancel all will cancel all working orders if I had any limits or stops in there or if I want to get out of everything at once I click the cancel all flatten button click it again and boom I immediately am out of my position now if you'd like uh, you can also click these three lines the little hamburger icon we call them in the bottom left of their NQ widget and you can see I have these buttons again just larger more transparent same options here if these are too small for you you can also see your account balance and your open fill price if you have one or if you need to um, as you saw i had to click cancel all and flatten twice once it was red and then i clicked it again to to confirm if you want to set up a style of one click trading you could do so at your discretion you could click this confirm actions and turn it off if it's off you'll only have to click these buttons once you can see that it's represented now. They have a blue, orange, and red background. If you see that, that means the next button you click is going to place your order. So again, it's at your discretion. It's, in my opinion, easier to misclick or make mistakes using this method, but it is a lot more efficient, um, and it's you know a oh, style of one-click trading. That's about it for this video. Again, we're going to be releasing a series of other videos as well. This was just to narrow in and focus on how to manage or place new positions on the RTrader mobile app. Again, this can be used in conjunction with other trading platforms, and we'll show you how this works on the server-side orders. We'll compare uh, our platform, Optimus Flow, with this in real time and show you how it works. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you need more tutorials, feel free to look at our you know overall tutorial video that we're releasing and if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below or feel free to join us on our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. Thanks for watching and we hope this helps.